very special guest on the show today, Managing Director of DLG Wealth Management, Andy Gazzetti. Thank you so much for sitting down with us today. Always good to be here, Stephanie. Oh, yes. And uh, we're dealing with something in consumer confidence. The past month or so, we've been up and we've been down stock market-wise, government debt-wise. Uh, we're kind of losing some people, I think. Well, I mean, it, you know, there's indicators that, that show that the, the consumer sentiment, the consumer indexes, uh, uh, confidence index is going down. Um, there's actually three, three uh, consumer indexes that, that play a role. First of all, what is the consumer price or the consumer confidence index? It's just an indication of people's optimism or lack of optimism mm -hmm. on the economy and also their personal wealth, how they're going to behave going forward. You've got the consumer board that does one, the consumer price index. You've got Michigan University does the con uh, consumer sentiment. And you've got the ABC, Washington ABC news poll that does one of the same thing. And they come out monthly. Um, folks look at them, meaning businesses look at them to say, well, if, if, if they're increasing each month, that means the economy may be expanding. I can hire more people. I can put more goods and services. Manufacturers are saying, hey, we can build more because right. things are going and vice versa if this index goes down. But it's a very important index, the consumer uh, confidence index, and a lot of people look at it. And how is it determined necessarily? Because if a rating change might end up dropping the consumer confidence, it might not necessarily be that the markets are that bad. It's people not spending as much anymore, which means that less capital is being circulated through the economy. It, do it doesn't really matter what causes it. It could be, like you say, a rating uh, drop. It could be gas prices are hurting people. It doesn't matter what causes it. What it matters is, is that it gives an indication how people are feeling, and at the end of the day, it means what the demand is going to be for the goods and services that we produce in America. And that tells, again, businesses, manufacturers, government, where this economy is leading to. And right now, we're, uh, it's kind of a downward spiral, but not, not bad. And were we making our way back up after the 2008 drop? Oh, absolutely. And I mean, now are we kind of headed in the opposite direction? The stock market plays a role in this. People feel good about themselves when they hold a portfolio that's going up in value versus going down in value. And that plays a role when they do the consumer price, uh, consumer confidence index. All right, very good. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with us today. Always great to be here. Thank you.